hearing scheduled for an ordinance amendment pertaining to flea markets. This will be the first reading. Ms. Berry. Council is requested to affirm on its first reading an ordinance regarding amendments to the town code that would allow flea markets to operate on Fridays with a special use permit. This would be subject to the standard and review as presented. This public hearing is now open. Ms. Berry, do we have anyone to speak? Yes, I'm going to say I apologize. My husband and I are in Springtime Gardens. What's your address in the salt block? 815 Warren Avenue. Thank you. And I'm really nervous, so I'm going to... That's okay. You just look at me just like you were talking to me. And my notes, right? Absolutely. First, um... We're very proud of our town. I think about 95% of the businesses in town take pride in their businesses. And we have a concern about the overall appearance of the flea market with broken tables, which are being repaired, but uh, ruts in the road and the condition of the wooden structure that's been added to through the years. I think turning on uh, Commerce Avenue, one of the first impressions of our town is the flea market from tourists. And I think there could be some structure um, improvements there. Secondly, we're asking for a clear definition of the word flea market. Uh, we consider a flea market to be a swap meet or a yard sale or a garage sale. But currently, there are seven vendors selling new product at the flea market. You can buy anything in that wooden building that you can also buy at Andrews on 6th Street. So we're concerned about is that, um, are they paying, paying proper sales tax on new items? You can also buy cleaning supplies, produce, shoes, Christmas trees, fireworks. And in 2011, a convicted felon could buy a gun at the home market. So it's not about competition for us because we have, we've sold produce for 17 years. Competition needs to make you better, but we're concerned about the business rules as far as running a business from the flea market. Because conceivably, the garden center could rent three tables. We could sell flowers and hanging baskets. Someone does in the spring. We can sell trees and shrubs. Someone does. And we could also sell produce. There's two if not three vendors that do and we would not pay the town eight hundred dollars a year in a business license twenty six thousand dollars a year in state sales tax of that six thousand went to the local tax economy here and we would not have payroll tax for five full-time employees which is almost three thousand so far this year so it seems like there's a loophole that we feel could be closed. Uh, we've asked for eight years from different council members for a clear definition of the rules of selling at a flea market, but um, we have not received a, a clear definition of that. Um, my third comment that I would like to make is concerning possibly a special use permit for a farmer's market there. They have porta potties, they have no running water, they have they're selling produce in temperatures 95 to 98 degrees. So there's always a concern about uh, E. coli and listeria, different things with selling fresh produce. But again, the questions are not intended to offend anyone, but we would just like some clear definitions of flea market business and business in general in town. And that's all. Okay, is that all signed up tonight? Yes, sir. This meeting is closed. Can I have a motion, please? Mr. Mayor, I move the council affirm on its first reading ordinance amendments to town code sections 75-3, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.10, 175-10.
the subject to standards and review, is there a time period associated with that uh, review period? Or is that just at the discretion of counsel? Councilor as I refer to that is the standards and review of the special use permit to allow that use on Friday, which is normally seven to fourteen days. And not a review period. That's correct. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, going back and reading the flea market uh, ordinance, uh, have we ever decided exactly what our fees are going to be? Are we allowed to collect the dollar per table or are we going to charge a uh, random fee of $500? I need to know what, which way we're headed in this, this way before I vote on the policy. Joe, can you answer that? Uh, yes, at our last work session, we decided to go with a 250 flat fee, which we have yet to advertise for a public hearing. And that will happen, Mr. Walsh, at our second reading? It will be a separate public hearing, separate from this one. Okay. So we have to wait two, two weeks and then wait seven days before we can vote? That's what the standard policy would be? Yes, that is standard. Okay. So it can't be at our next meeting. I think it gives us enough time. If, that, if that's the way it's going to be uh, put in the paper, then we need to make sure that it's in, in the code itself. Okay. Joe, can you take care of that? Yeah, I'll take care of it. Tonight's is just to address the Friday issue. Yes, just to address the Friday so that they can apply. Mr. Mayor, uh, can, can we get a verification of that through our counter attorney? That one's going to be uh, two. $250? Well, yeah, according to what, I, what we agreed to uh, at the Monday night meeting, but uh, if it's going to go back to rehab time, you better, you better be uh, put in the newspaper for two consecutive weeks, wait seven days before we have a meeting. That's is that correct. correct? That is correct. Yes, okay. So we can't have it at our next actual uh, standard Monday night meeting. No, sir. The only way we could do that would be if it's an emergency. Now. Yeah, this just sets the tone to allow anyone to uh, apply moving forward for openings on Fridays. Okay, we have a motion, we have a second. Any more discussion? Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, I think we need to make some type of decision here tonight by not voting on this motion due to the fact that if we vote on this motion in the negative, then we can't bring it back. If we vote in the positive, then what we have on our, on our iPad is going to be approved this evening. So I think we need to make a motion to postpone any, any vote on this until we get the proper uh, ordinance in front of us before we can approve it. I agree with that. Is there anybody going to make an amendment to can we postpone? Just, can we just have the, the, the person made the uh, vote to the second and take the amendment away, I mean the vote away so we don't have to vote on it at all? If you, if you re re retract your motion, and you retract your second, then you went to vote. But we didn't delete it on proposals and addition of list. The proposal for addition or deletion, we didn't. So we can't just so overlook what we have to do. We have to make some type of motion. And if someone wants to amend the motion to say, Mr. Mayor, I move that we amend the motion to table this action on this flea market until it's advertised properly and then brought back at the next meeting. A regular council meeting minutes. I don't think we can table Doug. What, like what's the possible? What's the proper uh, postpone? It would be to postpone until um, um, a further date. That uh, we could either postpone it to a date certain or postpone it until the uh, uh, date that the uh, tax uh, proposal for the uh, market comes. And if we table it. Want to postpone. That's okay. Mr. Chair, I amend my motion to postpone until the next regular council meeting Meeting that would meet the, the advertisement schedule that's been advertised in the local newspapers. Second. Okay, we have an amendment to postpone vote tonight, and we have a second. Any discussion? 
Harry Bud? Just, uh, just briefly, just for the sake of clarity, this is an amendment. It's not the, the, the main motion under consideration. So it's to, this vote is upcoming is to change our motion to a postponement motion. Is that correct? Yeah, yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, you're not, yeah, you got it. Okay, Ms. Perry, roll call, please. Excuse me, if I may, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Napier, are we actually amending or is this replacing the actual motion? Is this This is an amendment. This is an amendment. amendment to postpone it until the next regular council meeting that would meet the deadlines on the advertisement. Then we'll have to vote on the regular motion. You can treat it either way, but I, I would just go ahead and treat it as an amendment. Okay. Thank you. Councilman Connolly. Yes. Councilman Meza. Yes. Councilman Morrison? Yes. <coughs> Councilman Seelock? Yes. And Vice Mayor Seelock? Yes. Thank you. Okay, it will be postponed to a future uh, work session, or I'm sorry, a future hearing. Okay. 